girls, uh, this is uh, October, today is October 21st, 2020, and I just want to go over uh, what we did today. For those of you that have been missing out on our lessons during the day, uh, we continued reading Twins in Space on page 89 of my view 4.1 so let's see where we got here we're almost done I believe it was pretty short um, of course we'll get to finish tomorrow we just had these two pages to look at uh, we stopped on page 97 I did post a video on the reading Google classroom just in case you missed it um, for you all to watch uh, again, it's, it's in the Reading Google Classroom, if you all want to watch it. It's about these two uh, twin astronauts. And again, we, we do know by now that um, Bailey, Dr. Bailey, is conducting research on these astronauts to see how space affects the human body. Um, that way, we'll be able to know if we can actually send a human being to Mars. Um, so again, there was Scott that uh, went out to space and his brother Mark uh, that stayed on Earth. Again, it's uh, for this research um, to see how long a human body can last out in space. So again, tomorrow we'll finish reading it. Um, it's fairly short. We'll read tomorrow on pages 98 through 99, so you should already be up to page 97 like all of us. So after reading that, we did um, continue with our word webs, and we did um, all four, or all five of them. We just need one more, um, and we'll go ahead and do that tomorrow, first thing. So these are again word webs for twins in space. Okay, we have identical radiation, duplicate, comparison, and DNA. Okay, so we did that. Uh, moving on, we did some notes for math, boys and girls. Um, I just thought that it would be helpful if we would see the quadrilaterals this way. Um, it's kind of like what we did on Monday, but a little bit different. This is going to help you with your test on Friday. It should help you. So we have a square, a trapezoid, a rhombus, parallelogram, and then these last four are not quadrilaterals, they're triangles and a pentagon. So just make sure you do draw this and I'll go ahead and zoom in that way. You can pause the video and write this down. Okay, so we did those notes and we used it. We do we use that for reference um, to do our. So we continued with page seventy four. Uh, we identified number three as a square. Again, we use the notes. We always use our notes for reference. Um, it said four equal sides and four right angles. The only two quadrilaterals that have right angles are a square and a rectangle. Um, so which one has equal sides and all equal angles? That is a square, so we drew a square. And then number four, it says four equal sides, opposite angles are equal and we have no right angles angles no right angles so it can't be a square it can't be a rectangle 
Um, it can't be, let's see, four equal sides. It can't be a trapezoid. It could either be a rhombus or a parallelogram. But it says opposite angles are equal and no right angles. And it has four equal sides. We already did a parallelogram. This is a rhombus. because all sides are equal, four equal sides. Okay. Now we have two pairs of opposite parallel sides are, all angles are right angles, and there's different side lengths. Again, like I said, the only two shapes that have all right angles are a rectangle and a square. We already did a square. And the only one that has a different side length is a rectangle. And then it says draw and name two different quadrilaterals that have opposite sides that are congruent. That could be a lot of them, but we chose rectangle and rhombus. And then we went on to page 76. Now this was doing the lines of symmetry. So we did do some lines of symmetry notes. Again, it was, again, a figure that can be divided by a line which both sides mirror each other. Okay, so symmetry, a figure divided by a line with both sides that mirror, mirror each other describes figure with symmetry that's symmetrical. And then we did some examples of symmetry here. Um, again, we use that as reference. We did notice a pattern for some of one. For example, this hexagon. Hexagon has six sides. Well, it also has six lines of symmetry. A circle, we did notice, uh, again, or we discovered that it has an infinite number. There's no specific number of symmetrical lines for a circle. All right, triangle, um, there's only one. So this one was a little different, even though it has three sides, but it's only one symmetrical line. Pentagon has five lines of symmetry and pentagon, five sides. So we saw that correlation, equilateral triangle. This is the only one that actually had three lines of symmetry, just the same as the three sides. Octagon, same thing, we saw that pattern. Eight sides, eight lines of symmetry. The trapezoid had one, only one line of symmetry. We could only cut it in half this way so both sides could be the same. Rhombus had two lines of symmetry. Parallelogram has two as well. Rectangle has two. Square has four, so we could fold it four different ways and it would be perfectly the same on both sides. And this last one, uh, it's a trapezoid, had zero lines of symmetry. So we went on to do page 77. We had four lines of symmetry on this one, two, two lines here, one line here one line there, and so on. These were a little bit simpler to do. The only one that was different was two. Okay. So that was it, and then for homework, and I forgot to mention the spelling homework for today is rainbow words, but I did send that earlier today. Uh, for homework, we went on to page Sixty-four. So make sure you do page 64 and 65 for homework. It's basically what we've been doing, multiplying with 10. Okay, so for A, we discovered that our answer was D. That's the only one I did with the students today. Make sure you do 64 and 65. Okay, that was it for math. Then we did um, 
cover one more page in in our science fusion. So we went over already uh, some of the physical changes that paper can go through, um, how melting, pouring, and molding are also physical changes, how mixtures are physical changes. And then next, uh, tomorrow we'll go over solution and cleaning up an oily mess. This is, again, starts on page 149 of our Science Fusion book, page 149 of our Science Fusion. After that, we did do our social studies quiz on the last lesson that we finished up. Uh, this was page, up to page 131, 126 through 131 on my world. We took a so if you haven't done so, um, make sure you do that. And last but not least, we continued looking over um, our the scores that other students have gotten. I will post that in uh, the Google Classroom. That way you can take a look at other examples. And we continued with our expository composition on your career choice. Write about a career that interests you and explain why this job captures your attention. And that was it, boys and girls. I will see you tomorrow. Again, if you have any questions, let me know through Remind.